BMW motorcycles, how I loathe thee. Let me count the ways. First of all, um, a customer of mine has a BMW K1200. He brought it by, you know, four or five months ago um, because he had a brake line that ruptured, which caused the uh, brakes to fail, obviously. So he brought it to me. I put a new brake line on it. I bled everything. I did everything the way it was supposed to be, the way that the manufacturer would do it, the way that BMW service would do it. You know, a couple months later, he calls and says that the uh, brakes are starting to fail. He would have, you know, he'd be riding down the road, and then it would start getting spongy, start getting spongy, start getting spongy, and then he would have no brakes at all. So while he's riding down the highway, at highway speed, the brakes give out on him. So, the anti-lock brake system pump, or the servo, whichever you want to call it, is failing. So, you know, I told him, you know, we can replace it if he wants, but the problem is, it's not really worth replacing a part that's going to continue to fail. I looked on all the forums, I looked all over the internet, and, you know, different videos, things like that, and found that it's a very common problem in this bike for these servos to fail. So I told him we should probably just bypass everything and you know, make it like every other bike in the world and get rid of the anti-lock brake system crap and just you know, make it normal, you know, just normal braking. So he took it to BMW and asked them how much the new servo was. They said $2,500. And then they were gonna charge him another 1500 to install it. So, $4,000 to replace and fix his brakes. So, he told them what I said, that we should just bypass it, just like every other bike in the world, and they said, look, if you trust this guy with your life, and you think that he can do it, and he thinks that he can do it, and he can actually figure out how to do it and make it work, then we'll send him all of our work. Well, this video is to prove that it can be done. Every other bike in the world lacks anti-lock brakes. It's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. Like everything on it is so complicated. It's almost like every bolt has its own computer or something. You know? Sensors, there's sensors for the sensors, and those sensors have sensors. And there's relays for the sensor that starts the sensor that starts the other sensor. There's about 400 miles of electrical wires that go through it. It's just ridiculous how over-engineered these things are. So anyway, let's get to the point here. We're going to take this anti-lock brake system off of this bike. So, how does it work? This whole box down here is the uh, uh, anti-lock brake system servo or pump and from what I've read the entire system weighs about 13 pounds so that's 13 pounds of weight that's on top of the bike first thing we're gonna do is take this bracket off that way we can access the back side of it a little bit easier I don't feel like crawling around on the ground today so I got this piece off now uh, there is a bolt in the back of it that holds everything together what we're looking at basically is we have this hose here that comes from the uh, master cylinder and this runs down here up here to the back of this and then this goes all the way to this box up here it comes back from the box to here this other line comes down to the caliper so what we want to do is disconnect this hose and hook it to this hose. Bolt that goes in here will fit in here. Okay, so I found a tripod. Right here, I have a uh, bottle with soapy water in it, a rag, and down here, you can't really see it, oil pan to catch all the fluid that's about to come out. Just gotta be careful not to bend it. What the fuck was that? Take the back side of this hose off. Okay. So now we've got from the uh, master cylinder 
to the caliper. I'm going to take this bolt out and not drop the little washer. Flip it around the other way. Stick it back on. Stick the washer back on. Pick this up and bolt it directly in to the caliper. Okay, so remember this goes on the back of our little uh, foot peg mount thing now. Alright, and we got these two lines which do nothing. If we uh, bleed this, it should stop the bike now. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is fill up this reservoir. Make sure you have a clean funnel so it's clean as a baby's ass. It's not a tutorial about bleeding brakes, but I am going to do it. I'm just not going to explain it. As the British say, job done. You know, since we're working on a German bike. So now we got to do something similar to the front. Um, the problem is it's a little more difficult to get to the front. So I'm going to have to tear all these cute little plastic things off the side of the bike. So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we are zoomed in on the lines now. Here and here. This one runs to the calipers in the front. I'm not going to remove it, I'm just going to crack it. That way it's easier <coughs> to take off. successfully bypass that. Uh, it's not tight yet. I have to move it around because I would like to try to find a place to remount this, uh, which is possibly going to be here. So now I have a problem. The uh, thing is, I need to go test ride it to see if it works, if the uh, brakes work and all that. The problem is, the, um, the solenoid or pump is still hooked up. So as soon as you turn the key on, it's going to start spraying fluid all over the place. So I need to disable that, I guess. <sighs> Which means I have to take off more body parts and uh, unhook it. So I'll get back to you. Okay. I'm gonna pull this out this way. And uh, right here, there's a little clip. You pull that out, and the whole thing comes off. Okay, got the battery back in. And uh, I guess now it's time to turn it on, see if stuff sprays everywhere or not. It shouldn't. It should be unplugged. I don't even know if the bike will start right now. That's the fuel pump. The fuel pump is okay. stuff off of it, back it out, and take it for a test ride. Always remember to grab your tools before you go for a test ride. I know you guys saw that on there. I don't know why you didn't stop me. 
it works. It works perfectly, it works flawlessly, it works probably better than it did from the factory at BMW with that stupid crap on there. So, with that said, I'm going to start yanking all this crap out. So yeah, I ran out of battery and uh, was running low on space on the, uh, the card. <laughs> Turns out I have almost two hours of footage that I'm going to have to sort through and make a 10 minute video. Or less. So this is the relay I got. I've got another one coming. Looks like that. It's a female. Which the two that I saw online on the other video. What the hell was that? The two I saw online were male and it didn't have this stupid uncircumcised bullshit on it. Um, but the top of it looked the same as the ones that were recommended close-up of that. It's a lot of wires. A lot of wires. But we're going to condense it down into a few and then put them on the relays. So that's pretty much it. The brake lights work on the front and back, um, you know, with the front lever and the back lever. Um, the relays work fine. Um, as far as the diagram, uh, you know, here's a diagram. As far as the relays that I used, I used these. They're definitely not the only relays out there. And um, I don't necessarily like these because they are female plugs instead of male plugs. Uh, but it kind of helps because, you know, the inside of it is kind of shrouded, uh, which helps keep things away from the connections. Uh, I still have to figure out a way to mount these somewhere. And I'm also gonna have to take all of this stuff out, all the old stuff out of the bike. So if you like this video, please subscribe, uh, leave your comments below, share it, like it, thumbs up, um, all the various things that you're supposed to do or could do on YouTube channels help us out. Um, I am trying to make this you know, somewhat of a living, so the more you share, uh, the more you show you care something so yeah um, until the next time I guess that's it so while off camera I uh, strung my power cable over here threw it over the top of the bike and plunged it directly into the oil that's pretty awesome I have to try to clean that out. Yay.